Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna do just like a bonus Libra reading. Um, thank you guys so much for all your support. You guys were like my rock stars in October. Well, we're still in October, but for my October reading. So I'm gonna do a little bonus reading for you guys and then maybe start doing my signs again. But so Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Um, Seven house, uh, seven house placements. It's ten ten today, so it's almost like a portal day. Okay, um, a lot of energies going on. Um, Mars and Libra, which I have my Mars and Libra. Um, Venus, Scorpio, just like a lot of relationship transformational energy. Okay, just a lot of energy. So if you guys are feeling a little bit off kilter, that's why. Just roll with it, run with it, keep tuning into your YouTubers that guide you and stay, stay in faith and just try to, you know, stay connected and grounded in whatever way you can, all right? So I've been shuffling this deck for a minute now. I'm going to pull from Signs from Spirit and see what Signs from Spirit I have starting off, okay? So I have green, red, interesting, and veil. This is very interesting. I'm sorry, I have to remove my sweater. It's very warm in here. Um, this is so interesting with the veil because there's been a lot of talk about right now since the energies are so penetrating that the veil is becoming thinner and th thinner between the earthly realm and the spiritual realm. So this is confirmation, okay? I feel like with this red and green, there's um, a lot here, okay? For, first off, green is like heart chakra. Red could be love, passion, fire but um there's also like a stop and go kind of energy so it's like getting like bursts of energy but then also maybe stopping um this is also christmas color so there could be a lot of things building up before christmas time okay but um <clears throat> and there's an ornament here but green is also abundance health prosperity so hmm, hidden could be you know things that you are sensing about maybe a situation or a partnership but like they're still kind of hidden which in what's interesting is their eyes are red here too but so i feel like that could be like a lot of hidden passions and desires okay so very interesting Eleven, eleven. this is spiritual journey spiritual number okay angel numbers this means you're on your spiritual path cupid oh my god you guys i never got this card before i love it this is like love is on its way okay cupid is about to deliver something that you're desiring i love this i just realized that i don't have oh, okay wow cupid love it never got that card in the stack that's crazy that there's still cards i haven't gotten <clears throat> An umbrella and shelter okay so some of you guys might be you know with I don't know you know where you are but with the weather changes it could be raining it could you could just be wanting to be on like in shelter like you know hiding out in your house it could be getting colder it's getting colder here like fall is like really hit with a bang so you could be seeking shelter you could be just feeling like you want to feel like more like cozy because the veil is so thin that you're like okay like i need to ground myself i need to stay centered i need to just be in shelter like be in my house be in hibernation mode and that's okay too there's a time and a place for everything so let's see what we got from when spirit speaks here truth seeker third eye chakra yes you guys i put yes over Cupid, okay, so I do feel like love is definitely on the way. Cupid has his hands at play here and he is devising a way for you to find this love that you're looking for, okay? And be open. So this is like, you may not come in the form that you're thinking, but it is coming. And um, also just be open to new adventures, new beginnings, new walking through the door and like seeing what's on the other side of it, okay? <clears throat> I'm gonna pull from my Aquarian tarot deck and see what tarot messages I got here. Got Knight of Wands reverse, okay? So some of you might have been dealing with a Sag, Aries, or Leo in the past who is kind of a player and I feel like it kept you up at night. It gave you a lot of anxiety. It made you feel kind of hopeless about this situation. Yeah, King of Wands reverse too. So definitely a fire sign energy that was very unstable, unreliable. We've got Page of Swords here. 
but I feel like this person is still keeping like an eye on you. They're still trying to find information about you, okay? They could be looking at your social media, but also you could get some information delivered to you about this person. There's sort of um, a defensive energy here. Let me see what that's about. Yeah, Ten of Swords. I feel like it's good to kind of stay guarded with this person. I do feel like this period, though, of anxiety, of uncertainty is coming to an end with this Ten of Swords and Nine of Swords. It's like you're nearing the end of a cycle, but I also feel like you were really badly betrayed and it really wore on you, okay? So I'm going to just pull one more. The chariots are reversed here. This is like a cancer energy. But I feel like you, this is also like saying with the be open, like you might not be ready to move ahead with another person because you still have some like kind of like issues with trusting after that ish, that situation with the fire sign, okay? I'm going to pull from the Mystic Moon Oracle deck and see what messages I got about this, okay? So I'm going to see what the current energies of your divine counterpart are. Fresh start, okay? Yeah, that's what I was kind of saying. I feel like you are going to have a fresh start with someone. You're nearing the end of a cycle and you're starting a new one. Reinvention, yeah. You could be reinventing this connection or reinvent reinventing yourself, okay? Free will. So you're free to do whatever you want. I got unawakened for the masculine that you're dealing with, divine masculine. This was on the bottom of the deck and I was like, this is a sign, but I'm gonna shuffle and I still got it again. Definitely feel like the masculine that you're dealing with is unawakened, okay? With these two cards coming out together. And summer. So something significant could have happened during summer. I have tribe here too. I feel like your people that you're surrounded by or they're surrounded by have a big influence on the situation right now, okay? I'm going to pull from the all things intuitive and see what other messages I got. Uh, this is Cranberries playing. I was just listening to them last week. Really weird. Retreat, addiction, balance. This is a Libra card, okay? And true love, okay? So, um, I feel like an addiction is affecting this relationship. It could be your masculine. That could be why it's unawakened. And that could be why maybe he took, he or she, whatever, whoever you identify as, took a step back away from this to get balance. But I feel like this love is unconditional. So, I feel like true love and Cupid is very, like, like a synchronous message, okay? So I'm going to pull from the Twin Flame Shadows and see what um, other energies are preventing this person from, you know, being with you if you feel like you're in separation or what is affecting them or the dynamic, okay? Escapist. Yeah, addiction and escapist. I feel like you're dealing embarrassment and power, okay? I feel like this person is embarrassed about something so they escape the situation with you and there might be a power struggle with them okay they might be feeling like by removing themselves from the situation with you that they gain power okay i'm gonna pull from a few more tarot cards and see what other messages we got from the arcanum tarot deck justice libra card the High Priestess and Five of Cups. Wow. Okay, this is very interesting. So this is um, all about balance, and I got balance. Okay, so I feel like you guys are finding your balance. Your karma is at play here, okay? Um, I do feel like you had a lot of grief and loss that you might be looking at in the past, but I feel like this has heightened your spirituality and your spiritual connection and your intuitive abilities to yourself, the High Priestess, all right? Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces energy, but... The tower, yeah. I feel like you guys definitely had a tower moment. Things kind of fell apart. Things were really 
um, dramatic that happened between you guys. And here's another water sign energy, Queen of Cups, could be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, but this is also an intuitive card. So I feel like this situation happened for you to get more balanced in your intuition and your emotions. And I do feel like you guys are really growing from this situation, okay? And this person... I feel like they're unawakened, but as you grow on your path, they might be awakening on their path as well. But I feel like your ultimate thing right now is to gain balance for yourself, okay? I'm going to pull from the Twin Flame Messages Volume 2 and see what messages they want to share with you right now, okay? I care too much what others think right now. I told you that their soul tribe has a lot of influence on their behavior and their actions right now, okay? You are never far from my mind. And karma is a bitch. I finally got mine. I'm telling you guys, there's a big karmic justice situation of balancing the scales right now. So know that karma is at play energetically things are always going to write themselves out and it's going to be okay all right libra so thank you guys so much for your support hopefully you got some good clarity out of this and i'll see you guys next time bye happy birthday